Your body wants to be healthy. It wants to be disease free. It wants to live a long and vibrant life. All you need to do is repair what's broken. The fast metabolism diet is a paradigm shift that your body needs, and it will create a new, healthier version of you. How would you like to lose weight? Up to 20 pounds in 28 days, and at the same time, reverse chronic illness like diabetes, heart disease, inflammation, and hypertension. This is a program about what to do, not what not to do. I'm Haley Pomeroy, and I've been helping people lose weight and regain their health for over 20 years, and I'm here to help you. Today, I'm gonna share with you what science tells us is true and what the diet industry has completely missed the mark on. It is all about the metabolism. It's about what your body does with the food you eat. If you have a car, you can put the best fuel in the world in it, or you can put the worst. It really doesn't matter if the engine's broken. For years, diets have focused solely on what fuel to put in or not. They completely forgot about the engine. My program is a solution that gets to the heart of the problem the why your metabolism has come to a screeching halt and how to regain your health. This is a solution that's doable by people who live in the real world. Here's the key. Everything you've heard about dieting in the past is wrong. In my program, there is no calorie counting, and this revolutionary process is about repairing the engine that burns fat and gives you the energy and the health you've been looking for. It is time to let food do the work for you. I am a nutritionist. My whole life's work is to nourish you. The very thing that we do every day, all of us, we have a lot in common, we eat. And eating can actually be turned into a tool to create the body, the health, the very experience we desire to have on this earth. And I wanna introduce something to you. To me, the word diet means, did I eat today? D-I-E-T, did I eat today? Did I eat to nourish my mind, my soul, my body? Did I eat to lay down muscle, to burn fat? Did I eat for memory, cognition, for libido? It's not about avoiding food. So here comes the paradigm shift. We're all here together today, right here, right now. We're gonna let go of all the shame and the guilt that we have around food. First of all, guilt is fattening. <laughs> and it only belongs in crazy, doomed diets. And we all know there's plenty of those out there. I wanna talk about Ellen from Tennessee. When she came across the book, she was actually on the maple syrup diet, if anybody's ever heard of that one. <laughs> and the other thing that was unique was that Ellen had actually been one of the first recipients of gastric bypass surgery in Germany. And when she came across the program, she had phenomenal success. She lost 77 pounds. She said it was more weight than she ever lost, even with her surgery. So she came from syrup and surgery to real food. With my program, we start from a completely different premise. Not from lack, but from abundance. If I were to tell you you were going to eat more food and lose more weight, how would that make you feel? Happy. Good. Happy. <laughs> the Fast Metabolism Revolution is a real program, born from my 21 years of clinical experience. You see, at 19 years of age, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder. And by the time I was 22 years old, the 60 milligrams of prednisone that I was having to take every day nearly killed me. From that moment forward, I have been looking for another way. My approach works because we are repairing the very mechanism, your metabolism, where your body takes in food and converts it to energy and it takes fat and it burns it for fuel. And the upside of having a fast metabolism is nothing short than amazing. It can help you prevent 
and reverse diseases like diabetes, heart disease, breast cancer, prostate cancer. And I can't tell you how many of my clients have eliminated the need to take drugs for chronic conditions after following my program. You do know that's a choice, right? You can choose to heal the why you have high cholesterol instead of taking a pill that muzzles your body's voice telling us that there's something wrong. A fast metabolism can even help reverse aging by improving your body's ability to create new cells and hormones and even new brain cells. And of course, you will enjoy significant weight loss on my program. You see, weight gain is simply a symptom that something's not right in the body, that it's out of balance. It's your body crying out for support and repair, and we want to listen to what our body's telling us. Oftentimes in my office, we check the pH to look at the physical environment. We want to see how many proteins and veggies your unique body needs. The program's life-changing and life-enhancing. And most importantly is it is so delicious and doable. We get that obesity can increase cancer and it lowers brain function. And we know that sugar's bad and wildly addictive and that white flour's the devil and that eating more veggies can get us to success. But what are we gonna do with all of that information? I have an equation for true health and lifelong weight loss that's revolutionary. E plus M equals H. Eating plus the metabolism equals true health. Past diets have focused on the E what to eat, what not to eat, part of the equation. Now it's time to repair the M, the metabolism. It is time to put you, your life, your health concerns, your body front and center of this equation. The metabolism can change. Many of us have seen this in our lives. Unfortunately, the change we've seen has been for the worse. It's gotten slower. But I'm here to tell you that we can change the metabolism for the better. You can have a fast metabolism. Before I give you more details of the actual program, I want to dispel a couple of misconceptions that have actually been perpetuated by my very industry. We've all been sold diet food, but I actually have to tell you something. When you eat fake processed substances in the name of food, it's a mistake. Remember this, I come up with all these little rhymes it's the way I get through life. <laughs> if it's fake, it's a huge mistake when it comes to weight loss. The same with diet sodas and fat-free products. If it's free, don't buy it. <laughs> Says it right on the label, guys. Do you actually know what makes your metabolism work? It's nutrients and enzymes and hormones. And guess where those things come from? They come from food. Another diet misconception that I hear is that if I could only eat less, I would finally lose the weight I've been trying to for so long. How many of us have ever woken up, I'm just saying, on a Monday morning and said, this is gonna be the day, this is gonna be the week, I finally am going to achieve the weight loss I so desire. And we think, I'm just gonna do smaller portions and I'm gonna skip a meal. I'm gonna stop eating at six. That's an absolute recipe for disaster. When you don't eat, your body adapts by slowing the rate of burn. It actually slows the metabolism. Who came up with calories in, calories out? How many times have we been sold this weight loss program? How many diet books have we bought that if you simply take in less calories than you burn? Calories are an absolute lie. They're not even a thing, and although we cling to them for success. And I'm not just telling you what I do, what I do for myself, what I do in my practice. I'm telling you what science says is true so that I can help you. I will take you where you want to be, but it's my rules, but your preferences. It's my rules, but all of the success and life-changing enhancements will be yours. We can customize this to fit your lifestyle. Celebrities trust it, athletes trust it, rock stars trust it. People with chronic illness trust it, and most importantly, doctors trust it. And now you can trust it too. Let me give you an example of how this works. 
So I got a call from a guy named Wayne. He was very upset. He had just left his doctor's office and he was 51 years young. And he had been diagnosed with diabetes, needed to be put on cholesterol medication for elevated cholesterol levels. And I said, let's see if we can take a month. Let's spend a month together. And in four weeks, Wayne did the fast metabolism diet. And he was able to lose 20 pounds when he went to his follow-up visit to his doctor. His cholesterol had dropped and his diabetes was reversed. Needless to say, his doctor was blown away. Wayne went on to share with his doctor about how he had revolutionized his diet and how he was using real delicious food to fuel his metabolism and burn through fat on his body and cholesterol in his veins and his elevated blood sugar. I actually got a letter from Wayne's doctor, Dr. Diotti. Dr. Diotti said that this diet gives myself and other doctors the tool to help patients regain and attain health goals in a natural way. I recommend this diet to people because it's one of the few diets that I've seen work long term. He closed by saying, so what else can I say? This diet is much more than a diet. It is life changing and revolutionary. My life was forever changed by this diet. You see, it's contagious. Dr. Diotti himself lost 30 pounds. You can take control of your health and invite your doctor along the way, just like Wayne did. I believe that you can change the life of one man who can change the life of his doctor, and his doctor can change the lives of their patients, which in turn can change the lives of generations to come. This is interesting, I think. The National Institute of Health the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestion and Kidney Disease all say the same thing. And I quote, diabetes is a disorder of the metabolism. And yet we blame diabetes and heart disease and hypertension and elevated cholesterol and insomnia and pain and inflammation. We've blamed it all on obesity. Is obesity really causing these diseases? Or is metabolic dysfunction causing all of these diseases. So if you heal the metabolism, isn't it possible that all of these things could go away? In the body, there's all kinds of metabolic pathways. Pathways in the cells, such as Krebs cycle. There's metabolic pathways for detox, such as cytochrome P450. There's metabolic pathways that regulate your hormones, such as estrogen that if they work efficiently, they help your body detox any weakly bound estrogen, preventing things like estrogen positive breast cancer and eliminating all kinds of symptoms of menopause. There's metabolic disorders such as metabolic ketoacidosis and what we now call syndrome X or <coughs> metabolic syndrome X. This is where your adrenals become shot, we become insulin resistant, all kind of weird weight gain. We get hair in strange places, female balding, all kinds of reproductive problems, and it's even a cause of erectile dysfunction. The metabolism as a whole encompasses each and every one of those actions and thousands more. The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute states that heart disease, coronary heart disease, you know, the kind that can result in chest pain and heart attacks, that there's five metabolic risk factors. The first risk factor is a large waistline. Abdominal obesity or excess belly fat is a greater risk factor than weight gain anywhere else on the entire body. And yet, as we age, where do we begin to gain weight? Number two is a high triglyceride level. And what's interesting about this is they sedate that even if you're taking medication to make your labs look better, that that risk factor doesn't go away. Kind of interesting, huh? We think we're, we're studying for some test and we're trying to make our labs look good, but we don't get rid of the risk factor? Number three is a low HDL. These are the good lipoproteins. That I, in college, used to say the handy-dandy lipoproteins, where the LDLs are the low-down, dirty lipoproteins, are the bad ones. This is because HDL helps to remove bad cholesterol from the arteries. And the only known way to increase HDL is by great food and exercise, things like garlic and healthy fats. Number four is high blood pressure, and number five is fasting blood sugar, or an elevated blood sugar. 
And again, they state that those last two, that even if you make your labs look better by taking medication, the risk factors aren't gone. Each and every one of these five major factors relating to heart disease are all related to the metabolism and therefore can change when we heal the metabolism. So remember my simple health formula to help you understand what's going on when you eat food. E plus M equals H. Eating plus the metabolism equals true health. What's the metabolism? We've been talking about it for a while, right? <laughs> well, it works in a series of rhythms, cycling between breaking down and building up, like construction. It cycles between rest and restoration and creation, creating or building, and degradation or breaking down. Chronic dieting burns out your metabolism. It destroys the engine. But my fast metabolism diet stokes the fires again. And it works on this simple and fun premise. You have to confuse it to lose it. Just as you might cross train your physical body or try to work out smarter, not harder, they say, I suppose. <laughs> You want to cross-train your metabolism to stimulate different burn and build cycles. Through my systematic rotation of targeted foods on very specific days at very strategic times, the body transforms itself by cycling between rest and active recovery of the very mechanism that's broke. I believe you can eat more food and lose more weight, and Denise did just that. Denise from Colorado lost 65 pounds. She said, I had given up on ever losing weight. Her triglycerides, her blood pressure, her sugar levels, all within normal limits now. She said, I lost all this weight and I feel euphoric, both mentally and physically, even though I have Graves disease, which is a thyroid disorder, and that she's in the throes of menopause. Isn't menopause supposed to be when we gain weight? Not on my program. You have to eat foods that are rich in micronutrients in order to burn fat. Those micronutrients chisel fat from the waste. Remember the number one risk factor for coronary heart disease. Those micronutrients, they lay down muscle and it is time to change your metabolism and sculpt the body and create health. I want to introduce you to Jamie from Arkansas. And I want to show you that this is what 15 pounds of weight loss looks like on my diet. She lost 13 and a half inches on her body. And this is the chiseling I'm talking about. Remember, the metabolism affects every aspect of your life. I'm going to tell you exactly how to speed up your metabolism. You have a slow metabolism when it's become harder to lose weight than it is to gain weight. When we come back, I'm going to give you my step-by-step -step program that I've developed to make all these revolutionary changes in your life so that you can enjoy the health you deserve and have the body you crave. We can do this together. Stay tuned. In the first part of the program, I gave you an overview of what the fast metabolism diet is. I dispelled some diet myths, and I explained the concept that you could use food to unwind stress, unlock stored fat, and unleash your metabolic burn. I also shared some incredible success stories. These and thousands like them inspire my work every day. But these people have never stepped one foot in one of my clinics. They found the book at the library, they came across my program online, or they were given the program by a friend or a family member. I want you to know that you don't have to be in clinic to have this kind of success. These people simply joined the movement and the program gave them everything they needed to succeed. I got a letter a few years back that at first glance my staff thought was awful. This woman started out by saying, how could you not have knocked on my door and found me sooner? How come I had to endure the shame and the ridicule and the medications? She said that she had failed every diet out there. And why didn't anyone tell her that she could fix what was broken? I sent her back a note 
and I simply said, I'm sorry. I'm here now, and I look forward to you having a healthy and long life. Never again, my friend, yours truly, Haley. She has had a glorious turnaround in her life. And I keep that first letter to remind me that the best medicine in the world is one that truly heals. So we all agree, no regrets, never again. There is no such thing as starving yourself healthy, only starving yourself to death. Eating is going to be the magical part of this program and the secret to its success. And I know you're hungry for that, but I need you for 28 days. Remember, you're mine. <laughs> and I don't take that lightly, just so you know. I need 28 days so that we can actually evoke true repair. You see, your body adapts to the environment you place it in. If you want to change in the body, we must change up what we're doing. We must confuse it to lose it. Now, I want to take you through what to expect in the 28 days of the fast metabolism diet. Each week, we're going to cycle through two to three days of intense rest and repair of the mechanisms that are broken. So in 28 days, you're going to work through this 2-2-3 program four times. The first two days of each week, we're going to eat foods that are rich in micronutrients strategically to lower stress and stress alone. Anybody have stress in their lives? <laughs> Anybody have stress in the last 20 years? <laughs> These foods are things that are high in glycemic, high natural sugar levels. We're going to do that for two days. Have you ever noticed that your body craves sugar when you're stressed? That's the body's natural desire to have really quick fuel in a state of crisis. So the first two days in each week, we're going to focus on things like pineapple and complex carbs like brown rice and quinoa to provide easy fuel that the body can convert quickly so that it can lower stress hormones and immediately pull the body out of the state of crisis. During this phase, I am going to encourage you to do one day of cardio. Cardio is so important to burn through cortisol, that hormone that everybody kind of talks about that gives you belly fat that's so hard to get rid of. We only need to do this one day a week, but don't stress about it. This is all about reducing stress. Just move a little bit these two days. And trust me, it's going to get easier and easier. A body that's not burning through fat doesn't really need to be pushed. It needs to be healed. After those two days, we're going to jump right into the next two days, and we're going to work on letting go of historical old fat. Anybody got any they want to give me? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do this by reducing inflammation in the body and working on therapeutic foods that are micronutrient rich for the liver. Those two days, we're going to focus on lean proteins that break down to amino acids to build the heart and fuel the brain. We're going to combine that with alkaline vegetables like cabbage and mushrooms. They also have a ton of fiber, so all that newly released fat that makes its way into the colon, we don't want it to recycle, right? We want to flush it on out. You're going to do at least one day of weight-bearing exercise with me for these two days, but you don't have to be a gym rat. What we're doing is we need to cause microsculpting in the muscle to stimulate those hormones and repair new muscle that consumes fat for fuel to supercharge the development of even more muscle. During these two days, the body is going to release fat that it's had for a long, long time. But you can only do it for two days. Because remember, we're trying to follow the body's natural rhythm of rest and restoration. Then we're going to finish each week with three full days to repair the healthy hormones of the metabolism. Areas of the body like estrogens, progesterones, testosterone, and that superhero of hormones, the thyroid. We're going to kick it up by eating a ton of healthy fats. Things like avocado, salmon, shrimp. Lamb, raw nuts and seeds. Is this starting to sound good? Yes. It is. <laughs> As the body burns through those fat, it actually produces enzymes that break down the fat and break down extra fat with it. It'll also burn through any newly released fat from the two days prior. And we're going to couple this with a very unique exercise. You see, we need to stimulate blood flow into the hard to reach areas and we need to elevate those feel-good hormones. So you're going to do things like dry skin brushing and sauna. 
and even a massage. Yep, a massage is required one of the three days of each week in the fast metabolism diet. Don't worry about getting all those details down right now. In the program materials I've created for you, for this lecture, I provide you with everything you need for every single day of the 28-day program. It is all there, every activity, for every day, every recipe, every meal. It's so simple. All you have to do is follow the plan and let your body do what it's designed to do when you're given the tools for dramatic weight loss. Whether you're a vegetarian or a vegan, if you're gluten-free, if you have food allergies or preferences, this plan is easy to do and hard to resist. Your body will be transformed and the micronutrients will bring your body back to balance and you'll release fat and burn it for fuel. Remember, E plus M equals H. You know, I, and you guys have maybe experienced this, you can eat really, really healthy and not lose weight. You also see those people that eat horribly and stay thin. But in order to have true health, you have to have the right building blocks, the ability to use them in order to create the health you desire. So you're gonna be on the fast metabolism diet, you're gonna be in rehab, you're gonna rehabilitate your rate of burn for four weeks. And each of these four weeks, I have a particular goal in mind for you. So let's go through those. In week one, I just need you to trust me. I need you to go with the program because it works and I will get you to where you wanna be. It's my rules for the next 28 days. You're my client now and I want to share success with you. Rule number one, hear me now, you must eat. And I want the fun to begin within 30 minutes of waking, you must eat three phase-specific meals and two phase-specific snacks each and every day. So we have got to make peace with food. It is gonna be a constant in your life. Set the past aside for a moment and go on this journey with me. Love the mangoes and the pineapple and the watermelon you're eating. Savor the pleasure of having pasta and avocados and shrimp or chili. Check in with yourself. We have you check your pH to indicate whether you're getting enough veggies, enough kindling to ignite the burn. And veggies are completely unlimited on my plan. Make large batches of the food and freeze the phase-specific foods to warm up the next time you cycle through that phase. No more diet food. And I want you guys to repeat after me. If it's fake, take a break, because it's a huge mistake. Absolutely, good job. There's a term that many food additives and preservatives are classified under. They're actually called obesogens. If carcinogens are known to cause cancer and obesogens are known to cause obesity, yet the majority of every major diet product on the market is loaded with obesogens. Hmm. I find that interesting. It's almost as if they're investing heavily in your lack of success. Wouldn't you agree that the diet industry is in need of a revolution? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> what the heck is yellow number five or blue number six or tartarazine or sodium benzoate? I literally read this on the back of a diet shake. You will have no time or desire for artificial junk food disguised as food fit for any human diet. You will be too busy for the first two days of each week dining on high glycemic fruits and veggies and comforting carbs. I know I hear you. You're afraid to death of carbs. <laughs> That's because before my program, you couldn't access them for fuel and energy. Carbs are actually a huge resource, especially in women for energy and feel good hormones. Now back to the plan. We've got work to do, people. <laughs> By week two, you're gonna start to really have the hang of it. The rhythm will make sense. Two days of high carbs and high glycemic fruits, two days of proteins and alkaline vegetables, three decadent days of healthy fats, and you're gonna see a drastic change in your body. 
In week two, you're gonna be excited to try even more food, enjoying those fat-burning snacks that I have for you and flaunting your weight loss. You've thrown away the ridiculous notion that losing weight is a matter of calories in and calories out. You will never count a calorie on my program. Week three is where you have to focus on my rules and my way because repair is not about weight loss. It's about fixing what's broke once and for all. So pull out some of those leftovers you made up in week one. But if you're feeling a bit confident, maybe a little frisky, maybe it's time to try some of our mocktails or our desserts. Poor desserts. <laughs> I feel so bad for them. They get blamed all the time for weight gain. But when you make them with real food, desserts can actually be the cause of weight loss. If you bake it, your metabolism can take it. And that's why I provide you with plenty of metabolism enhancing desserts in the program material. Which brings me right into week four. For week four, I need you to give it hell. I told you I was tough. This is where I want us to solidify our results, where our weight loss doesn't become something that's fragile and our weight gain isn't looming over us. All the principles of the fast metabolism diet are things that you can incorporate for a lifetime. I love these guys. Art and Karen decided to do this plan together. And together they lost 107.7 pounds. When someone writes you a letter and they put 0.7 pounds, do you think maybe they've dieted before? I'm just, just saying. <laughs> but individually, they each lost the same amount of weight. Isn't it supposed to be harder for women to lose weight than men? What am I going to tell you? Not on my program. Karen, at 65 years young, had no gallbladder. She's hypothyroid, which means her thyroid is functioning below normal. And yet she lost the same amount of weight as her husband. And Art, at 67 years young, he no longer has to take his blood pressure medications. Metabolic risk factor, gone. The changes that this couple enjoyed can be yours, so let's get healthy together. I am yours now. We are going on this journey with some amazing things to see and do on your to-do list, that very long list of things to take care of, I need you to do me a favor and put you on the list. After 28 days, I wanna help you customize my program to fit your life. I want my plan to become our plan. I want you to ask yourselves, did I eat today to deliver the building blocks to create the health I deserve? If there's only one thing you take away from all of this, is that if you wanna lose a lot of weight, starving yourself is the last thing you wanna do. You need to eat more to lose more. Right now you might be saying, okay, Haley, hopefully, I get the science, you're right. <laughs> but what if I'm someone that has a lot of weight to lose? I understand and that's a fair concern. What if you have more than 10 to 20 pounds to lose? What if you're living in a body that you don't even recognize as yourself? And what if it's become so imbalanced that you have to take medications to survive? Well, maybe this story will give you hope for your own future. This is Michelle and she found the Fast Metabolism book in her library and she's completed a whole year on the program. Before the fast metabolism diet, Michelle was on a very healthy program, the greens and beans diet. She was literally putting some of the best gas in the world in her body, but the engine was broken. You picked up on it, beans and gas. <laughs> I love it. It wasn't until she repaired the engine that she healed her metabolism that Michelle lost 140 pounds. Her husband tells her, and this is really cute the way she wrote it, that her skin's glowing and that he thinks he has a whole new wife. If you have more to lose, you repeat the program and you build the flames higher and higher. Remember, E plus M equals H. Have you ever thought about the fact that if you continue most diets for a long time that your health would actually fail? So please hear this. I always tell people in my clinic, do not use a program that's not sustainable. And in fact, it may be dangerous. 
Remember, my goal is not for you to have to be on a diet for the rest of your life. My goal is to repair your metabolism so that you can eat at a barbecue or a bar mitzvah or a birthday party and not experience aggressive weight gain that comes from having a slow metabolism. I want you to be able to enjoy your life, to know how to continually stoke the fire of your metabolism so that you burn right through that margarita that might fall into your mouth. <laughs> In four short weeks, you will have the power to create the health you desire. And coming up in the final segment, I'm gonna give you the number one secret to ensure your success. So please don't go away. In the second part of our program, I took you through all four weeks of your metabolism revolution. It is time to once and for all repair the why we're plagued with excess weight. So now, I want us to break bread together. I want to share some delicious and easy to make meals and recipes that'll nourish and repair and revolutionize your health. In our time here together, we have unlocked the chains of misinformation that enslaved us from the vicious cycle of dieting and self-loathing. They were wrong about how to achieve success and they were wrong about us every step of the way. We need more to repair and to heal, not less. And we've made some agreements along the way. We've agreed to let go of the guilt and the shame and the isolation that other diets bring. We've agreed that you need to follow my rules for at least 28 days, but that there is plenty of room for your preferences. We've agreed that above all else, we will listen to your body and strive to understand what it's telling us. We have agreed that in order to repair the metabolism, the very mechanism that ensures our health, we will eat more food and love every bite. Life is a gift. And I want you to cherish your experiences, not a crumb given to you as a part of a deprivation diet. Together, we're going to eat our way healthy. In fact, the more pleasure you take in eating, the better it is for you. All right, you guys, I have a question. What are three things that are more fattening than pork rinds? <laughs> Suffering, <laughs> guilt, and stress. And not one of those things are on my program. I want to talk about Patricia from Kentucky. Patricia is 60 and sexy this November. I love it. Those were the exact words she wrote to me. She hit her goal weight and she lost 40 pounds. She no longer takes any medication and her labs are perfect. Before the fast metabolism diet, her cholesterol was over 300. Now it's 167. Her blood pressure is great, and this saucy little number just exudes joy. You see, pleasure stimulates the metabolism by triggering the adrenal glands to produce endorphins. These endorphins, or what we know as feel-good brain hormones, send messages to the brain to stimulate another hormone called serotonin. This is a mood-elevating hormone. It in turn stimulates the thyroid to produce a fat-burning hormone. Talk about a chain reaction. Everybody in need of a little pleasure? <laughs> Pleasure sets off this terrific cascade of events that lower another hormone called leptin. And leptin's produced by the fat cells and it's what triggers your body to actually release fat for fuel. After sex, your leptin levels are the lowest. Taking pleasure in food can have the same effect. Every single ingredient in every single recipe, as you can imagine, you know me by now, <laughs> is strategically placed to evoke repair. Food is my personal medicine, and the kitchen is the laboratory. So let's dissect some of the ingredients for true repair that we'll be using over the course of my 28-day life-changing program. 
And the fast metabolism diet manipulates and enhances your metabolism with specific functional foods combined in different phases to evoke precise physiological changes in the body. Beer causes beer bellies, right? Yeah. Anybody know what Asian pears cause? <laughs> Asian pears can take swelling down in your legs, edema away from your ankles. Two days of each week, we're gonna unwind stress with comfort foods like this fast metabolism chili. In, in the chili, I put strategic ingredients like I use ground turkey. Everybody knows that turkey contains tryptophan, right? But did you know that tryptophan is the one nutrient that if we don't have enough, our body can't produce enough serotonin? Interesting. I also throw a lot of cilantro in there. Cilantro, maybe a lot of you know, helps you not be gassy when you eat beans. So it's, it's called the gift? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also been proven to lower your LDLs, your bad, your low down dirty lipoproteins, and it raises your HDL, your handy dandy lipoproteins, the good ones. It helps stabilize the blood sugar, and it also has a unique phytonutrient in it called quercetin. Quercetin has anti-inflammatory properties, but it also helps with bone density. I throw zucchini in my chili, it's rich in manganese, which stimulates collagen, and also an enzyme called superoxide dismutase. Promotes healthy bone, healthy immune system. When you eat, I don't want you to think about the scale. I want you to focus on what you're doing for your body. I want you to go, oh, this chili's so good and it's lowering my cholesterol, stabilizing my blood sugar, mmm, doesn't my collagen look better? <laughs> and gosh, it makes me stand a little straighter. At least that's what I do when I eat. <laughs> then remember those two days, the next two days, we're gonna unlock that stored fat because that is a piggy bank, a reservoir of energy, you guys, when we can unleash it. We're gonna eat things like my favorite stuffed red bell peppers. We do use grass-fed beef in this recipe. Grass-fed beef has a fatty acid called conjugated linoleic acid, and it's designed in the body to help release stored fat. I always say it's kind of like the shuttle or the bus that gets everybody to the party. <laughs> so it gets the fat out of the cells and to the body so that it can be burned. I put spinach and celery and oregano to help balance the pH because when the pH is balanced, the fat cells are much more generous with releasing their fat. And this recipe is loaded with basil. Basil has a unique phytonutrient called eugenol which blocks the enzymes that cause inflammation. So taking basil daily can be a natural anti-inflammatory. So when you think about it, the ingredients in these stuffed bell peppers will not only scavenge cellulite, but when you're eating them, you're gonna be in less pain. Now it's time to go from yearn to burn. I love the last three days of each week. You're gonna unleash the burn with decadent dinners like one of my favorites, the veggie shrimp stir fry. I put a lot of onions in a lot of my meals because they're beneficial to lower the LDLs and raise the HDLs. But one of the things when we talk about, it's like we're studying for this test that we're all supposed to pass called our labs. But really, where do we make all our sex hormones? From our cholesterol. So if they're pooling in our blood and not lighting our lives on fire, what a waste. <laughs> I load my stir fry with asparagus and Brussels sprouts, which provide a nutrient called glutathione, which helps your body detoxify, it prevents cancer, creates new healthy cells. And then I also throw it over wild rice. And a lot of you probably know that wild rice is not really a grain, it's a seed from a grass. It has four times as much protein as brown rice. So, as we eat to repair the whole body. I love to work with my clients to dig a little deeper into the why, the how we got here so that we'll never go back. Let's find out why your scale's stuck and what you're gonna eat about it. <laughs> Let's ignite the burn so that we can answer the questions, what are your barriers to success? You see, where some see barriers to success, I see it as an opportunity. Shelly Egerton from Montana also had tremendous success. 
She's in her 40s. And isn't 40s supposed to be where we begin to gain weight? Where we resolve that our metabolism has just slowed down? Not for Shelly. At 44, Shelly has already lost 55 pounds on the fast metabolism diet. But more than that, she completely lost her need to take pain medications. Before this program, Shelly used to take eight to 10 ibuprofen per day, plus her prescription pain medication. She used to take pain medication and medication for insomnia, but no more. She's sleeping through the night. Shelly wrote that for the first time in 11 years, I am not taking prescription medications. My doctor and my physical therapist were shocked. Forget about counting calories. How about not counting pills? Right? You see, being healthy affects more than just you. Adopting this philosophy will dramatically change your life, but do not underestimate the impact of you achieving your goals having on others. This is not a program for first-time dieters. This is a program for last-time dieters. I have seen wonderful results in thousands of my clients. And please realize my clients live in the same world that you do. You know the real world, that means that they travel, they go out to dinner, they eat and they drink at holiday events. And that's why my program accommodates all of these real life happenings. Your body wants to be healthy. It wants to be disease free. It wants to live a long and vibrant life. All you need to do is repair what's broken. The fast metabolism diet is a paradigm shift that your body needs and it will create a new healthier version of you. The new you views food as a tool to repair damage and restore health. The new you enjoys fruits and grains and proteins and healthy fats. The new you knows how the body reacts to specific foods and strategic eating, and the new you has all of the resource to get the weight off and keep it off for good. We're gonna find the new you. And we're going to do it now. You will never starve yourself again. Let's draw a line in the sand. No more business as usual. If food has been your enemy in the past, that is all over. We are now stepping into your future where food is your medicine. If you're 10 to 20 pounds overweight or more, you need this medicine. You need to learn how to unwind stress, unlock fat, and unleash the burn. I wanna talk about Kelly. Although I've never met her personally, Kelly is one of my personal heroes. Kelly's a breast cancer survivor. She was diagnosed at 28 years of age. Of anyone, Kelly understands the importance of creating health. Kelly wrote a letter to me stating that she was shocked that in her first week on the fast metabolism diet, she lost six pounds. Kelly's gone on to lose 73 pounds. But Kelly shared with me a very unique benefit of her weight loss. Kelly said this is the first time she's not afraid that she's gonna be able to fit into her MRI scans. Yeah. Kelly said yes to food. Kelly said yes to health. Kelly said yes to life. And now, this is why she's my hero, Kelly is graciously helping others. You see, this remarkable woman who I've never met has gone on to create and mentor a support group on Facebook of over 5,000 members. This program is not about counting calories. It's about changing lives. And I'm here to tell you that when your cholesterol is high, it is not because you're deficient in cholesterol medication. It's not. In most cases, it's because your metabolism needs repair. The metabolism affects every aspect of your life. And I'm here to advocate for your body and guide you to the success you deserve. Together, we're gonna eat our way healthy. 
I want you to spend your time counting your treasures and not your calories. The number one secret to my program and to your success is that it is not about what you weigh. It is about what you are worth. And you, my friend, are worth healing. You can do this. I believe in you and I am with you every step of the way. Thank you.